Welcome back to School of Civil Engineering. This is Hedatullah with another new video. In our previous video, I have shown you that how we'll design foundation like that. So we have designed our foundation and which types of foundation is required here. Uh, we have seen that here isolated foundation is required. But I have shown you that and also I have shown you that how we'll find out is detailing also in our previous video. So if you're new here, you can watch our previous video and in this channel, there are many civil engineering related video are available. So you can watch that. The link can given in description and if you're a civil engineer then don't forget to subscribe to our channel and also like our video share our video with your engineer friend so uh, first of all I'll show something that in a previous video I've shown you that uh, if I click here our uh, if I come here just see here our bar spacing our uh, auto design bar was 7 and also our bar spacing was I mean bar is on a 17 inch okay it's very I mean it's it, its distance is very much so how will uh, reduce that so for that so before that uh, I will just select our wall foundation from here okay uh, make it make it to 2d and from here select our wall foundation sorry sorry So I will uh, just I'll select that and from here I will uh, click here auto design depth okay after that auto design size but will here uh, auto design reinforcement so I will click here auto design here auto design reinforcement so from here uh, it is the uh, auto design depth and auto design uh, size will not use anyone I mean uh, sorry anything here uh, after that we'll just go down and uh, here if I come here its size will be same but we'll change its bar size number will use number four bar and our spacing will be uh, i'll just use a spacing as uh, 18 okay 18 spacing right and also for here bar size will be number four bar and we'll use 18 spacing for eight in sorry 18 spacing it's done after that uh, i'll go here design pad base and see what happened and see that for our that criteria our wall our wall color i mean foundation have passed except that two so i'll just click here right click and see just uh check member and where it's failing it's bending capacity it's failing in bending capacity okay so to pass that just only now select that two foundation just select that two foundation only and uh, sorry sorry just select that two foundation uh, just press control and select that two foundation after that from here here is the depth here is the size i will just uh, use number five bar here okay 18 distance after that i will go here design pad base escape that also it's failing i'll also control and select that after that i'll increase its size so i'll give it uh, nine feet so nine feet then i'll also give her nine feet and it's okay and i'll give the depth as 14 inch after that I will give its spacing 6 inch. Also, I will uh, give it 6 inch and I will use that bar number 5 bar. It's done. It's uh, done actually. So, I will just uh, again click here design pad base and just press. Just see that this time it's done. So, actually, I'm just showing you that how we'll do that. So uh, it's done actually in this time. 
so you can just uh, design your foundation in that way actually so suppose now I need to know about wall foundation detailing okay I need to uh, know about all foundation detailing so I'll find out that I will just after when I, I mean uh, after coming here in 2d just click here draw okay and from here see uh, here foundation layout here foundation layout okay and uh, also they have I mean uh, also they have many uh, layout so just click here foundation layout then uh, just click here ok and before that uh, here on ins int on ins then press ok after that see what happened here is our foundation layout actually here is our foundation layout okay and also also here our our reinforcement detailing also here just see that our uh, number 8 bar uh, number 4 8 bar 8 inch distance to distance right so uh, here 8 inch distance and for our middle just see it's uh, we know that it's 6 inch distance to distance 18 bar total required number 5 18 bar 6 inch distance to distance so like that only uh, here only required this is the bottom bar and this is also record for bottom bar in this way you can just find your tool value and uh, here actually is your I mean here is your full detailing here available and also if you come here just see that here is your pad base 1 to total number of I mean total uh, 20, uh, 16 foundation number of group and also here is length in here is LX LY and here is the depth okay so here is its depth after that if I come here oh here is this bottom reinforcement and there have no reinforcement required for top okay so here is its bottom reinforcement if you come here just see here uh, in x direction this is for number one foundation I mean our, our on number foundation and its layout are also available here this is maybe our uh, foundation where is your foundation if I see here this is maybe just come here pad base one yes this is pad base 1 and pad base 4 that 1 and 4 and same that's why it's showing I mean here just see here 1 2 3 like that here is our foundation detailing I mean a layout here is a reinforcement detailing or uh, layout uh, detailing and here is the number of record total reinforcement just if you see here to design our foundation we record 0 0.878 tons river so in this way we can just uh, design our foundation and we can um, do that all right so if I just uh, you can easily you can uh, easily actually print it you can print that so uh, in our auto autocad tutorial series I have already shown you that how you will print that and how to uh, how should you print that and which way you can print that so if you knew to our channel and you don't know about that you can watch that that link are also given in description so um, and the last request is if you if you think that that's helpful for you and if you're also a civil engineer then don't forget to subscribe to our channel and also stay with us so it's done and you can save it as well uh, you work in AutoCAD so I'll just close that then it's no I'll not save that and here and also you can change that size and you can also design that according to a place requirement so uh, I think it's uh, done and actually I have forget something in this video that how we'll use the eccentric foundation okay how we'll use eccentric foundation so I'll show you that in our next video
so i think uh, you will stay with us and also you will support us so thank you thank you very much stay with us and support us as this is a civil engineering related tutorial uh, i mean a channel so thank you